Yeehaw! Welcome back to the Southern Snack. Your life is too short to be serious. Oh man, that is a loud, loud plane soaring up ahead. Uh, so despite no uh, recommendations that I go ahead and do this review, I decided I was going to go ahead and do it anyways. Uh, I've never had an IHOP burger. This thing is loaded up. I mean, pickles, tomato. Doesn't look like a lot of beef, but there's so much that it's just squeezing out of this burger. Uh, should have IHOP sauce somewhere in here, right? I don't... Okay, it's somewhere in there. Uh, but this thing has ranch, IHOP sauce, avocado, bacon, pickles, lettuce, tomato, uh, onion strings, and a four cheese blend, apparently. So it's a lot going on here in this sandwich right here the wonka burger or the scrumptious wonka burger I, I don't know but we're gonna try and take a few bites for the pleasure of this review and uh i do hope you subscribe and like and comment on this video as i figure out how exactly i'm going to position this sandwich so a couple of pickles fell off all right we're gonna we're gonna start from this back end here and just kind of slide some things Hmm. That is very good. The beef is not too bad. Um, not like some flavorful patty of meat, but it's good. The bun is nice and soft. All of it's very, you know, I, I said there's not too much flavor to the beef, but the sauce has really come up nicely. This is a surprisingly delicious burger for it to be from IHOP. IHOP did some good things with this Wonka menu. I'm not I'm, I'm not lying to you. They did a very good job on this menu. And this burger really is very enjoyable. Yeah, it, it tastes really good. It's got some nice ingredients to it. Does it stand out like a very super unique burger that you'll have out there in the world? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say it stands out in a marvelous way. But I think it delivers on the flavor. Um, the bun's nice. The beef's nice. The bacon, nice. And a little bit of crisp to that. Um, I like the avocado when that comes into play. It's a very busy sandwich, so it's not going to be like a 10, but I would be happy to give it an 8. I think an 8 is really solid for this. It's a really good burger. You're paying about $14. If you get it to go and don't pay tip, you're paying $14, $15 for this and some fries. Not not the worst price in the world. Um, you know, everything's pricey these days. So, yeah, if you want an extra loaded burger, the Wonka Burger is for you. Other than that, I'll see y'all around. 